If you're in sales and using ChatGPT, firstly, good. Secondly, I discovered something when these LinkedIn posts went viral. I found out that there's three vital things to add to any sales prompt. Who you are, who you target, what you do. It looks something like this. I'm prospecting a ICP. I'm looking to sell them a tool or service that insert as many value props as you can. The reason is ChatGPT knows so much about your ICP, it has that data already. What it doesn't know very well at all is who you are and what you do. It doesn't know the perspective you want this data from. So tell it in as much detail as possible. For example, I made this lead magnet prompt to help sales teams write emails. It gives you problems, solutions, things you can add into your emails, solutions at scale, that kind of thing. Here's how I prompted it for Lemlist. Here's how I prompted it for Taplio, for Lemwarm, and for Lemcal. Lots and lots of data. Why? So ChatGPT has more information to use and I get a better output at the end of it. Let's do an example live to show you. Let's first see the output of give me the 10 problems founders are likely to face versus this prompt with the extra info. I'm prospecting founders within companies of one to 10 headcount. I'm looking to sell them a tool that insert all the detailed value prop or as many features as you can. And give me the most likely top 10 problems they're facing in hitting their KPIs. Just with one simple test, when we compare the results side by side, you can already see the difference. The second output is something you can actually use to improve email copy, increase reply rates, book more meetings, make better cold calls, conduct better sales demos, whatever it is. The first is just super vague. Don't believe me? Go to ChatGPT and try it out for yourself. Now, what else can you use this information for once you are writing a good prompt? Well, for sales, you can use it to generate subject lines, generate information about your ICP, as I did in this post and in this video just here. Use it to get feedback on your email copy, though take the results with a pinch of salt. Use it to get ideas for a concise script to use in videos or LinkedIn voice notes. Not only that, you can also identify common objections you're going to face in cold calls or meetings. Get yourself a guide for handling those objections. Create negotiation tactics for particularly tricky prospects. And then finally, strategies for building credibility with prospects throughout the whole sales process. Now for lead gen, you can use it to assess the quality of your leads based on a fit with your ICP. You can rank leads most likely to convert. Identify identify which leads have the most value in a large list and even create a lead scoring system so that you know who to reach out to first. Then if you're looking at CRM operations, you can use it to summarize key takeaways to log into your CRM, get ideas to design a process to automatically update your CRM perhaps. You can suggest CRM data cleanup and remove duplicates or just develop some best practices so things don't get messy and your ops team don't hate you. And of course, there's hundreds and hundreds more use cases. What I've done is I put together a Notion doc of all the best sales prompts you can use. Comment doc down below and I'll share it with you. ChatGPT right now is a brainstorming tool more than anything else. So whatever you're using ChatGPT for in sales, make sure it knows who you are, who you target, what you do. Have you got any killer ChatGPT prompts? Let me know in the comment section below. If it's useful for other people, I'll make a video on it. And of course, give you and your company a big shout out. See you soon.